European Grid Infrastructure (EGI) is a series of efforts to provide access to high-throughput computing resources across Europe using grid computing techniques. The EGI links centers in different European countries to support international research in many scientific disciplines. Following a series of research projects such as DataGrid and Enabling Grids for eScience, the EGI Foundation was formed in 2010 to sustain the services of EGI. Topic: <laughs> Purpose. Science has become increasingly based on open collaboration between researchers across the world. It uses high-capacity computing to model complex systems and to process experimental results. In the early 21st century, grid computing became popular for scientific disciplines such as high-energy physics and bioinformatics to share and combine the power of computers and sophisticated, often unique, scientific instruments in a process known as e-science. In addition to their scientific value, on the 30th of May 2008, the EU Competitiveness Council promoted the essential role of e-infrastructures as an integrating mechanism between member states, regions as well as different scientific disciplines, also contributing to overcoming digital divides." EGI is partially supported by the EGI Inspire EC project. History The European DataGrid project was first funded in 2001 for three years as one of the framework programmes for research and technological development series. Fabrizio Gagliardi was project manager of DataGrid and its budget was about €12 million, Euro, with the full project named, ''Research and Technological Development for an International Data Grid''. A major motivation behind the concept was the massive data requirements of the Large Hadron Collider project of the organisation Européenne pour la Recherche Nucléaire CERN. <laughs> EGEE -E. On 1 April 2004 the Enabling Grids for eScience in Europe -E -E project was funded by the European Commission through the Directorate General for Information Society and Media, led by the Information Technology Division of CERN. This 24-month project of the Sixth Framework Programme had a cost of over €46 million. Euro. The consortium included 70 institutions in 27 countries. The LHC computing grid continued to be a major application of EGEE technology. By 1 April 2006 the «In Europe» was dropped from the project name, but the acronym was kept as EGEE2 for enabling grids for e-science. This two-year phase cost about €52.6 million. Euro. The new name reflected a more global extent, such as a cluster of computers at the Institute of Microelectronic Systems in Malaysia. By 2007 the EGI was supported by 36 countries. A middleware software package known as Glite was developed for EGEE. A third two year project phase was called EGEE 3, running from 2008 to 2010. On 30 April 2010, the EGEE project ended. By 2009 the governance model evolved towards a European Grid Initiative EGI, building upon National Grid Initiatives NGIs. Topic. Related projects Topic. Diligent 
A project called Diligent Digital Library Infrastructure on Grid Enabled Technology was funded from the 1st of September 2004 to the 30th of November 2007 and developed software called GCube somehow related to the EGEE technology. This project cost more than 8.9 million euro. Follow on projects called Distributed Collaboratories Infrastructure on Grid Enabled Technology 4 Science D4 Science cost about 3.9 million euro through the end of 2009 and 5.4 million euro until September 2011. Topic: Bangrid a project on business experiments in grid Bangrid ran from the 1st of June 2006 through November 2009 with a cost estimated 23.6 million euro. The project published 25 case studies. One participant observed in 2008 a reluctant and slow takeoff of grid technology by the industry. Design study The EGI Design Study project was launched in September 2008 and continued until the end of December 2009. The project was partially funded by the European Commission's Seventh Framework Programme in order to evaluate requirements and use cases, identify processes and mechanisms for establishment, define the structure, and initiate the organization. The study was directed by Dieter Kranzmüller and cost about 3.9 million euro. In October 2008, site selection for EGI was begun. Participants included 37 national projects. Topic: Structure. In March 2009, the policy board of the EGI announced it would be hosted in Amsterdam, the Netherlands at the Science Park Amsterdam. The EGI.EU Foundation was officially formed on 8 February 2010 in Amsterdam. The name change included using infrastructure as the third word for the acronym, to reflect the transition from a series of short term research projects to a more sustainable service. National Grid Initiatives support scientific disciplines for computational resources within individual countries. The EGI is governed by a council of representatives from each member NGI, which controls an executive that manages the international collaboration between NGI, so that individual researchers can share and combine computing resources in international collaborative research projects. The governance model of the EGI coordinating the collaboration of national grid initiatives uses general policies of cooperation and subsidiarity adopted in the European research area. A €32 million Euro project named the EGI Integrated Sustainable Pan-European Infrastructure for Research in Europe EGI, Inspire, was funded in September 2010 under direction of Stephen Newhouse. A €1.5 million Euro project called eScienceDoc was funded in 2010 for 33 months to support websites and publications covering the EGI. It followed an earlier program known as GridTalk that was funded from 2008 to 2010. Topic. See also. Supercomputing in Europe eScience